Hey guys, welcome to The Kickback. I am Gio Johnson, and we have another special interview for you guys today. Somebody that I grew up with, well, at least on television, and I <laughs> loved watching every week. I know you guys loved it too. Please welcome to the show, Christina Vidal. Hello. How are you it's feeling actually, today? It's actually Christina Vidal Mitchell now. Christina yeah. Vidal Mitchell, yes, she is married, guys. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Grown up and married. <laughs> How are you feeling today? I feel good. You know, it's a little hot, um, but I feel okay, Could all things considered. How about you? I'm pretty good, you know, ready for quarantine to be over. Chicago is getting pretty hot right now, so, mm -hmm. yes. But let's jump in. I want to make sure we get all these questions in. Okay. Um, let's go all the way back to the beginning. How did you get started in the industry? Uh, well, <clears throat> I. I grew up watching my sister, my oldest sister, Lisa Vidal, who's also an actress. Um, I grew up watching her doing like TV and theater. And one time she brought me on set with her and I was like, I really want to do this. But I started out singing first. I started out loving to sing. And then I was like, I think I really want to try. I want to be some kind of performer. And um, at my school, um, my elementary school in Whitestone, Queens, my teacher was giving out flyers from Disney. They were like doing some, what they used to call, I don't know if they still do them, a cattle call. Yeah. And just a bunch of people coming in, right, for the same role from all over. You don't have to have representation. You don't have to have experience. They just wanted to see like what they said, real authentic, like New York East Coast little girls. And so he handed me the paper. He was like, look, you're always disruptive and always in talent shows and always just, you know, doing stuff. Like you might as well put it to use. Why don't you go on this audition? And so my sister, Lisa, who I told you about, she actually took me on the auditions and coached me. And I ended up booking it. I was 10 years old and uh, it, was a life, it was a movie called Life with Mikey with Michael J. Fox. Yes. I was going to ask, and that leads right into my next question. What was it like working with Michael J. Fox? I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. Oh, man. He, you know, uh, I just feel like they don't make him like him anymore. I mean, they probably do, but he was just so old school Hollywood. Yeah. He had so much class, so much integrity. He really showed me the ropes while also providing an environment for me to be creatively free. Like he was so encouraging. He was so protective of me and so sweet to me. And he was just, it was a great first experience. Nice. You got yeah. to, like, you just got to be a kid in that movie. So I I'm did, like, I did. That was and like the perfect too. step. Yeah, on nice. set too, I was just a kid. I mean, I literally, I, I didn't feel like I was working. They treated me like I was their little sister. That's perfect. Yeah. Now, see, I'm going to jump into what everyone really wants me to get to. Okay. Hyena. Yes, Hyena. Oh, see. No, I can't okay, wait. Edit that. Really corny dance out. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. I'm just kidding. Every, but it's you can't do it without singing the theme song, guys. Now, I know, how did that I know. opportunity come along? Because I heard that you were in a girl group first, and then the opportunity hit. I was. How did you know about that? I'm a super I fan. was in a singing girl group called Gemstone. Oh. Uh, we were um, we were actually gonna be a pop a pop group out of Germany. So I was in Germany at the time recording an album, very random. Wow. And my agents called me with this opportunity and I was like, oh, I'm gonna be a German pop star. I don't think I have time to go on this audition. I'm so sorry. Um, and they were like, we will drop you. <laughs> you need to get back here and go on this audition because it's a great opportunity. So I said, okay, fine. So I flew back and, um, went on the auditions and did not expect to get as far as I did, to be honest with you. So I had to abandon my German girl group, which was devastating. Um, but yeah, that's how it began. Oh. Are you still in touch with any of them? 
No, I mean, one of them through uh, Facebook, one of them I stayed in touch with for years. She was like my best friend, my roommate. Um, and the other one actually is a European pop star. Like she is oh. like, she's like Britney Spears all over Europe. She's huge, very successful. Oh, she, um, she, she went said, on to, without you guys. to just see a solo. Yeah, she was like, well, you're not killing my dream. <laughs> so... Oh my God, I love that. Now, like I said, I was a super fan, so I have something to show you. Okay. I still have this. No, you do. Oh I still have Look it. Look at those flowers. <laughs> I still have it. It's so I colorful. Still, so colorful. I still could probably name the track list front to back. Oh yes. my gosh. Oh, I'm, I think I'm actually visually blushing. That's really cute. <laughs> I can't believe you have that. I don't even think I have one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I have to find this. I, I okay. So, all right. I'm going to test you a little bit. So what was your favorite song on there? Ooh. Ah, you know what? And this is a funny story. Mm -hmm. me, when, around the time that the album came out, me and one of my friends were beefing. Oh. Wasn't a real beef. I was like a kid, but right. I thought that we were friends was probably the song I was talking <laughs> most at that time. <laughs> <laughs> you know that was the song I had in mind when I asked you that question. <laughs> but that one, my little Kelly um, Rowland video. <laughs> yes, and I like to dance a lot. So Carnival used to be my like little jam. Oh yes, uh, I forgot about that one. I remember I got them to play it at my uh, school. We had like a, a big uh, international day, and I was like, "Oh, this song is perfect. We should play this song." And they played it. <laughs> I was in like six or seven grade. Guys, I'm nerding oh. out. No, I'm trying to keep my guitar. Wow. Straight. Oh my gosh. No, I'm so flattered. You're like a real life Taina fan. That's yes. That's so cool. And I think the reason why for me and for a lot of people that they related, it was very rare for us to see people that were of different ethnicities yeah. that we could relate to that looked like yeah. us. And you guys were you guys had someone white, someone black, someone Latina. Mm -hmm. So I was able to see myself on the show along with everyone else that was watching it. They were able to see someone that looked like them. And represented them. Right. You know? It was, I, I think that show, I always say, I think that show was ahead of its time in more than one way. Yes. So much. So what was the filming process like? Because every week you guys had the episode, but you also had a song in each episode a little mm -hmm. mini music video in there so did you record the songs way in advance did you have to record them that week and then yeah so well both it just depended on like how you know when the songs were ready you know because there was there was a, a producer who was writing and making the songs and the music and so sometimes it you know it would take till that week and so mm -hmm. the way we would do it is um, we would shoot during the day and then at night I would go into the studio and record. Wow. And then during my lunch breaks, I would, because you remember Taina danced. Yeah. Not very well. But <laughs> she did it because um, she had to be a triple threat. Um, and uh, during our lunch breaks, I would learn choreography. Oh my God. So you had no time off. For like the off. next episode. Wow. I didn't have time off. I mean, it's a good thing I was young. I just lived on like coffee and, you know, <laughs> junk food. And and... Junk food. And yeah, I mean, you know, I was 19, I think, 18, 19. So um, oh, yeah. I did it somehow. <laughs> but it was tough. So here's a fun one. Who were some of you guys had some epic guest stars? Who were some of your favorites? Oh my gosh. I know. I was like, oh my God. I had no idea how cool we were. None of those people would talk to me now. Um, <laughs> I have to say, I was really excited about having Joe on. Nice. Because at the time, I loved, I, I used to sing. Um, da -da 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 yes. Remember that song? Da -da 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 -da. I used to sing that to my friends, like in our neighborhood. I uh, it was like that. our favorite song at the time. And so just having him be on our show and then sing to me, I literally did melt. Like I wasn't acting in that part. I was like, oh, hey, not Joe. <laughs> so I, probably him and then the next would be Shakira. Nice. Now I heard a rumor that when Kelly Rowland was filming, Beyonce showed up on set? Oh yeah. What? 
what? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, they're sisters. Yeah. Um, and I, I think it was one of the first um, times that Kelly was venturing into like that side of the business. And so mm. she probably wanted to be there to support her, you know, and um, she was sitting at Video Village, which is for people who don't know where that is. It's just where the director and producers sit there and watch, you know, what's being filmed. And she had her sunglasses on and she was just, honey, she looked like a queen already. Okay. She was like sitting there and I was like, Beyonce. and she was like, hello. That was it though. That was all I got. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just got that was that a perfect hello. Beyonce voice though. <laughs> Thank you. She has that deep little Southern tone. So she was- does. She just, she sounds like she's somebody, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, after Tiny Now, it seemed like, you know, acting and music just went hand in hand for you because mm. Freaky Friday, you got to act with legends there, Lindsay Lohan, yeah. uh-huh. and still got to sing in that movie as well. Yeah. What was that like? I know that was a ball on set. Jamie Lee Curtis, Lindsay Lohan. Oh, we, uh, yeah. I mean, we had a great time. We had a great time. Lindsay and I, we used to go out like... I will tell you the shenanigans we got into, but we, we went out. We, <laughs> you know what? Lindsay was always very old for her age, very mm. advanced, very grown. She had a lot of responsibility at a very young age. A lot of yeah. people don't know that about her. Um, and she had a lot of freedom. And so we would go out to Melrose. We would go out, have sushi. We would go party. Like, you know, we got along great. I never had an issue with getting along with her. Um, And um, as far as, so the singing part was interesting because I always loved like soulful and R&B more and that kind of like, you know, I had a little bit of that soulful thing in my tone. And so recording for, for Freaky Friday was actually a bit challenging because they were like, oh, she needs to sound like a rock singer. And I was Mm. like, what does that mean? Like, Right. And they're like, there's just a little too much, you're putting a little too much soul and like, you know, this kind of feel on it. We need it to be, excuse me. So I remember when I was recording it, they were like, we want her to be more nasal and we want you to sing more like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, that sounds like crap. Are you serious? <laughs> Lo and behold, it's like a freaking cult classic and people are singing it at graduations. And so you just never know. You got to, Trust the director, I guess, you know. The craziest thing happened, like, not too long ago, I was walking down the street with my husband. We were getting cheeseburgers. And these girls, they had to be in their early 20s, no no older than that. And they were clearly, like, coming from a a night out. And they're, like, walking down the street singing the Freaky Friday song that I sang, like, passed right by me. And And I had no idea. They had no idea. I didn't know that, though. So I was embarrassed because I was like, Hey, I thought they were singing it because they recognized me. <laughs> That's crazy. What are the chances? So embarrassing. And they were like, oh my God, no, we didn't even know that was you. We were just singing it. And I was like, oh, it, so it was just a very random, funny encounter. But people That's just love the song, surprisingly. Yeah, I still bump it to this day. Wrong with that. <laughs> Tying the album. I'm just, you know. Oh my gosh, Gio, you're hilarious. <laughs> So speaking of your husband, Marcus, who mm-hmm. he's an m- amazing dancer himself. If you guys have yeah, not seen awesome. Step Up High Water, make sure Thank you check you. it out. Thank you. Yes. yes. How did you guys yes. meet? Very talented. We met at church. Um, <laughs> let me see. How old are we? <laughs> we met at church, no joke, 11 years ago. Mm. Yeah. Wow. wow. I've known my husband for 11 years. He lied to me and told me that he was 25 years old because I'm seven (laughs) years older than him. So he was actually 20 at the time. And he like wrote me an email because I wasn't giving out my number. And he asked me on a date. I mean, he treated me better than grown men, older men that were older than me. He was like super gentleman, super like, you know, but I gave him the runaround for about five years. Wow. 
we would go on dates, I would disappear. I was like, you know, I just really, I really don't feel like, you know, I really feel like the Lord just wants me to himself right now. I really don't feel like this is the time for me to be dating. And then another time I was like, oh, I just don't know if we work. And yeah. he, he was always so cool. He would, he would give me my space, but then he would always come back around and be like, I'm just saying, I'm still here. I'm still with it if you're with it. And so five or six years later, something changed for me. And then we dated shortly and got married shortly after that. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. He seems like such a great guy. So congratulations yes. to you guys. Thank you. And your daughter, Willa, is like, she's everybody's spirit animal. She is just the most horrible <laughs> person in the world. She, oh, I obviously, I love her too. I, yeah. I think she is so special and she brings so much joy and fun into our life every day yes i i want I, every time i watch you guys on tiktok or like your instagram i'm like i want to go i want to go to their house they're having fun <laughs> come on over when you're That's in la it. we'd love to have you over let's do a tiktok definitely don't tempt me with a good time listen i want to do <laughs> i want to do a disney sing-along i want my costume and everything Yes, <laughs> you've yes. been seeing those. Oh my gosh. Yes. I think my husband's having more fun doing them than Willa at this point. Yes, I see you like he'll keep going and Willa's walking off like, yes, <laughs> boy, I'm going to get a snack. <laughs> yes. yes, yes. So I'm glad you brought up church because another thing that I love that you do is the Nook series, which I've been following about oh, your faith wow. and you um, how you that. found it. Okay. Yeah, I love it. I'm very heavily involved in my church as well. So, oh wow, that's um, awesome, Gio. Hmm. I had a feeling. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what uh, made you want to start that? The Nook series? Mm -hmm. Or just, yeah. Well, the Nook series. <laughs> yeah. Well, honestly, the, the Lord. Uh, because I don't think I would have done it otherwise. Because wow. I, I, when I talked about this kind of in my introductory, you know, session of it, that I share my faith more personally, more one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Um, just because that's where I feel uh, it's just happened like that. It's just organically. I never like to feel like I'm shoving anything in anyone's face because that's not how I came to faith. And so, um, but I was, I was reading this devotional one day and I just felt like the Lord was speaking to me and saying, you know, I really want you to start speaking more publicly and making videos about your faith and how you came, you know, and I was insecure about it because I was like I ain't no preacher I mean <laughs> like, what do you want me to you know and he's like no just tell people about your relationship with me and awesome. your faith that's it you everybody has a story so um it started out like that and so that's why I did it that's awesome if you guys have not checked it out she does it on her Instagram her IGTV please go watch it such an amazing series thank you Thanks, um, just following along your journey has been great Thank um, you. So as we close out, um, what's next? Um, well, I know there's a new baby on board, so congratulations. Yes. Oh, you can't. I don't know if you can see Big Mama over here. Yes. I Any love that now. you announced it while drinking your milkshake and said, it's for the baby. <laughs> well, what's funny is I announced it before that, but I guess no one saw the video. So when I, when I, when I posted that Fat Burger video, they were like, what? You're pregnant? I was like, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, what's next? Well, okay, Jill. So I actually shot a show, um, a sitcom for ABC mm -hmm. in whew, September, October, November of this year. Last year? Last year. Sorry, not this year. What am I talking about? I don't know. <sighs> Quarantine's got me all jacked up with the days. Anyway, it's a new show on ABC called United We Fall. It's about me and my husband and our marriage. Well, not literally my husband, my husband on the show. Um, it's about our marriage and it's about children and just sort of navigating through that. And it's a sitcom. Nice. Well, I cannot wait. Um, tell everybody where they can follow you and keep up with you. Okay. Um, Instagram. My uh, Yes, my Instagram name is Christina, C-H spelled with a ch christina m like mary vidal that's my instagram facebook is christina marie vidal mitchell mm -hmm. and twitter i don't remember i haven't been on twitter in so long i think it's cv dramatics with an x not an s all right 
Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming to the cake bag, Christina. Thank you. Thank it was so you. good. And now I'm gonna go bump my Taina album. You guys gonna do the same. <laughs> and we will see you soon. Okay. God bless you, Gio. Have a great day. Bless you. Bye, bye. bye everybody.